This course is an evaluation journey in search of the truth. Let's look at how the course works together. When you log into the course, on the far left, you will see information including your account, the calendar that shows the due dates, an inbox where you can write emails if you need to, and the content of the course. You are coming into the home page. You will also see the announcements, modules, discussions, grades, net tutor, and a link to the library. Be sure to read all of the information on the home page, including tutorials as well as this navigation tutorial. There is also a tutorial that covers the syllabus. You want to make sure that you are familiar with the syllabus before moving on to the course. When announcements are posted, they will come to your student email address, and you can also find them here in the course by clicking the Announcements tab. You will receive an announcement every Saturday that shows you what is coming up in the next week. You can refer to that, but you also want to make sure that you log in the course every week and check out what is going on in the course by checking the modules, discussions, grades, your net tutor if you need to use that. Let's look at the modules. Modules open up gradually throughout the semester. Right now, you are looking at my home screen, and of course I can see all of the modules. They will be opening up throughout the semester, and you will be notified that every week when you receive your Saturday email that shows you what's coming in the week ahead. Let's look at the discussion boards. As you can see, there aren't a million discussion boards. That means that the discussion boards that do exist are vitally important, and they are important for ongoing communication with your class members. The first discussion board is the open forum. All students will be able to see your post here. What are you going to post there? For the open forum, you will find, that's right, a tutorial and a little bit of information. Let's see how I created a little post. I clicked the little reply arrow, and now I have this text box to play with to introduce myself to my fellow classmates. I can include a link. I can include an image. I can include record and upload media. I can put in a little document. I don't know why I'd want to, but I could. And the apps, I can go here. And I can also include this way of including information for my fellow students. I made a little video on Animoto and went ahead and uploaded it to YouTube. Now I can share that by copying the embed code. Let's go back over to my post in the classroom. The easiest way I have found to add a video or add an image uh, that is included in a video is to go to View, HTML Editor, and now I'm going to add that video. It's going to be too big for this, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller size. So I just changed those numbers. Now I can see what it looks like by clicking here. I see the video here. I can click here and I can center that video. Make it look nice. And there we go. As soon as I've completed everything I want to include in the post, I can click Post Reply. I can save this and, and include this same information plus a little bit more to my Cyber Cafe group. But as soon as I finish this, I can copy it by going View again, HTML Editor. And I can copy what I created here and paste it anywhere that I want to. I'm going to click Post Reply. And I'll be able to see that. It'll show up in a second. Now that is for the open forum where everyone will be able to see my post. Let's look at the other discussion board that's important. Next, 
we're going to say hello to our Cyber Cafe group. This is the small group that you have been placed in with five to seven other people. This will be your go-to group throughout the semester. You will post every week to this group. You will get to know those people and you will find that they are a valuable resource throughout the semester. So when you click the Cyber Cafe group, you don't need to worry about doing anything else because this will automatically post to your particular group. So you don't have to do anything other than click and post. As soon as you click that board, you will see, that's right, a tutorial. And you will again click reply. You can use that same post that you included in the open forum to all the students or you can tailor make this towards your group. You're going to become very close with this group because you're going to com communicate with them throughout the semester. You'll notice in the discussion boards there are two topic locks. One is for the endangered species essay and as soon as you have locked your topic no one else can take that topic. Only one person can write an essay on any particular species that is endangered. Here is a list. Choose one that you like. Come over to the discussion board, click reply, and lock that topic. If someone else has already locked that particular animal, find something else. The second lock is for essay 2 and you'll follow the same instructions. This is a fun Cyber Cafe challenge that takes place throughout the semester. I've come back over to the class modules to show you just a couple of things and then we'll be finished with this tutorial. You want to make sure that you read every single page in the course. Some are very short pages, others are longer pages. All of them generally contain tutorials. <laughs> I know, there are all those discussion boards that we were just seeing. When you find an assignment that is due, you will want to open the assignment, follow the directions to the letter, which are included in a PDF and a tutorial. I'm a very visual learner, so I like to include tutorials for students who are like me. Remember, it takes a hot minute to get used to the online classroom. I hope that once you do, you'll find that you're not alone at all. I'm right there in the modules with you. You can hear me on the tutorials and you'll enjoy the discussion boards where you'll get to meet other students and form a close bond with students in your particular Cyber Cafe group. That concludes this tutorial on the navigation for English 103.